I, since I have a whole lot of castings sifted, I'm going to do an experiment with my castings. He's in this bucket of them right here. Some lettuce seeds, some pots. We're going to do a ratio experiment. See what the best ratio of castings in is to potting soil. Um, should be a lot of fun. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. It's finally warming up enough that I can do this in my garage with one of my grow lights from my old aquaponics system. Pretty simple setup. It's just going to be on a timer and uh, just powered on over here. This is one of my favorite lights I used when I did aquaponics in here. Uh, that works really, really great. Got full spectrum, plants need everything on top of my messy shelf here. Should be a good spot to keep these for a few weeks. This is actually the remnants. I'm gonna cut these up in a couple days. Um, take them off the dump, they're pretty well trashed. This is where the two fish tanks for my aquaponics system. Um, I'm gonna rebuild a new one along this wall using just a big Home Depot type shelf. And that should be pretty cool. I'll do some videos on that when I get back to building it. All right, we have our control, which will be just potting soil and nothing else. One part soil to one part worm castings. Uh, this will be our densest mixture. And then we'll jump to one to two. So one part castings, a two part soil or potting mix. We're gonna jump up to one to four and then make a jump to one to eight and another big jump to one to 12. And now uh, the reason I'm making these bigger jumps is because I don't want to use too many pots. And um, I figure one to 12, pretty intense, pretty pretty um, thin mixture. Um, we'll kind of be able to guesstimate just based on the plant growth, you know, if it's like between one to eight and one to 12, and they're like, yeah, it's somewhere in another one to 10 range and stuff like that. So. These should be a good mix to kind of give us an idea of the best range for mixing, mixing castings, at least the castings that we make. So I'm only going to fill the pots up about to uh, the line in there, just a little bit above that, because once I get it wet, it'll contract a little bit and kind of sink down in. Um, so just that's how, how full I'm going to do it. And I'll show you how I'm going to mix the castings here. So to make this a, to make this a little easier on myself, um, I'm going to mix up basically a cup of each or whatever I need to get my ratio right. Um, I'm going to mix more than I need for each pot. Pour it into the other cup, shake it around. So here I do the one to one where I got four ounces of uh, potting mix, four ounces of castings, and then I'm going to pour them in. I'm actually just going to hold it like that and just kind of give it a pretty good shake. Really mix it up, get it nice and homogenized, and then I'll pour that mixture into the pot. And that way I'll know that I, you know, I got a nice one-to-one -one ratio, and even if I don't use all of it. It actually turns out about two cups is exactly what I need for these little pots. So, okay, I'm going to start mixing up the rest of them. Here's our one-to-two mix. Pour it into each other and mix it up. A little easier than shaking it just keep pouring it back and forth a little bit all right cool all right there's approximately one to four um, i think earlier i said this was two cups it's i'm not thinking it's about a little over one cup fills each one of these. All right, mix up that four to one. Make sure it's really mixed. Give it a shake. Oh, spilled a tiny bit back there. Not a lot though. I'm not gonna use it all anyway. All right, can't really tell there's any castings in there. Nope. Okay. Cool. Let's keep going. Two more left. 
All right, now we're doing the eight to one. And hardly anything goes into that one. Since this one's such a thin ratio, I really want to make sure it shook up well. I'm actually just throwing whatever I have left over each cup into one of my worm bins. Figuring they won't hate potty mix. That was dumb. Okay. Yeah, this one, 1 to 12. Um, not going to be very many castings in there at all. I mean, it's hardly anything. All right. I'm going to have to really mix this one good. As you can see a little bit of my messy shop in the background. Shake up this 1 to 12 one really good because there's just hardly anything in there. And I want this to, I mean, it's a garage experiment, but I still want it to be as accurate as possible. Put all the effort into it that I can since I do care about this stuff. Okay, last one. It's okay. Cool. We're done. Okay, I'm going to try and do this by the rules, uh, which is different than I normally do things. Six millimeters deep is what the package of these seeds suggests. Just doing some romaine lettuce. I figure since it's cold, the lettuce should still take. Got all my pots all set up. Okay, I'm gonna plant some seeds. All right, I'm just gonna try and do, these seeds are really tiny, but I'm gonna try and do three per pot. Just in the little holes that I dug, that's my ruler. Um, some might get two, I'm trying to pay attention and get three, they're so little though. These lettuce seeds are so tiny that it's not easy. All right. So little. You can see how small they are. I mean, they're basically grass seeds. So, got three down in there. Down in there, there. Oh, there they are in the bottom. We have some down there. And there. All right. I'm going to cover them up and water them. One of the nice things about there being six is this cup make it, makes it easy to water them all the same amount. So I'm just going to, every day or two, water them about, with about four ounces of water each um, as they need it. And uh, just kind of, I'm going to treat all these plants, all these pots exactly the same. You know, limit the number of variables I'm dealing with here. Let's see how easy this is going to be. Put a little bit in. And check. You go a little further. Pour a little bit in. And check. Just a tiny bit more. Okay. Cool. And I'll do the rest. All right. The last about four ounces into there. Nice and slow. All right. All watered. And they're set to go. And I'm going to try one of those polls that YouTube's always trying to get me to do. So I'll do a poll and we'll see how everyone vote who the, which one they think is going to grow the best. Um, also put some options. Do you think there's going to be no difference at all between all these? Or um, my guess is that the one-to-one -one is going to grow almost the worst and we'll get our best between the eh, about one but somewhere between the one to four and one to eight i think we're gonna get our best um 
best results. I think the 12 is not going to be much different than the control. Um, I think this is going to be almost too much fertilizer in here, but I would like to be proven wrong. All right, we'll see how it goes. I'll update in a few weeks. Um, maybe do little updates as they sprout, but next update will probably be well after they're done and um, we get some good results. All right, I'm going to leave this light on on a timer 12 hours a day. Um, and probably in a few weeks, I'll do an update. Fill out the poll um, that I'm going to post. Let me know what you think. Take your guesses. We'll see who wins, I guess. I don't know what else to do about it. Just a fun little engagement thing. Um, if you want to see more, please like and subscribe. I like making these videos. I'm going to keep making them. Uh, anyway, look forward to showing you guys an update in a few weeks.